Hello all. Uh, this is going to be about uh, installing VirtualBox in uh, Ubuntu 12.10 and it's simple enough. I have a browser uh, Firefox open and uh, we're on VirtualBox.org and we go to Downloads and you select, is my screen magnifying working? Yeah it is, good. There you go. You go to Linux Hosts and click that link and the first one as of this uh, recording is uh, 12.10. You can choose 32-bit uh, or 64. So I've already downloaded that. So open the Downloads folder. And there it is there. Virtual box. So you just double-click that. And it will open Ubuntu Software Center. Give it a second and click install and type in your uh, credentials and let it install now let's see if it works uh, it didn't oops it didn't go to the side panel here so we'll just type in virtual and see what happens okay so it's uh, got the uh, integration into the top panel so you can say help about and that's the latest release released a couple of days ago let's uh we'll choose a uh, windows xp so we'll hit new and it's we'll just uh, type in a name win xp and the uh, image you need an image iso uh it's th service pack 3 so windows xp service pack 3 32 bit next uh, I'm gonna give it five, no, 1024 RAM, I guess. That's plenty. Uh, create a hard disk. Next, keep clicking next. Uh, 10, mm, 10 gigs, a little small. Let's give it 20. That should be good. And then create. Now, if you want, you can go to settings. Yeah, just ignore that message for now. Uh, advanced, uh, system. Processor. If you have more than uh, one, you can try to say two. And just accept that message. And uh, one more. Under settings, display. We're going to crank that up. And we'll enable 3D acceleration. So 128 and 3D. And all we do now is we press start. And we'll look for an image. So I have one in the uh, backup folder. OS files. Windows XP Service Pack 3. Open. And then start. And you just... Uh, if you click in here, it'll uh, prompt you to capture. If you want to um, release your mouse... You Press the right control. So there's your mouse here. And then again, pressing that, you can go back to uh, capturing the window. And just hit enter. Uh, format uh, NTFS quick. And now it's um, checking the drive and it's uh, copying files. Okay, it's finished copying files. Uh, just let that... Uh, Press any key, just don't touch any key, just let it go, and then uh, you'll see the Windows XP logo, and it's loading. And then, as you see, if you've installed Windows XP before, this probably looks really familiar to you. Okay, now it's installed, um, Windows XP, and we're going to have to uh, make some adjustments uh, if you want larger screen or full screen. Um, first of all, we'll just get some of the stuff out of the way. That's the installation part. Of Windows XP and then we'll uh, address the USB error message and then uh, install the guest add-ons uh, to get better uh, graphic support. Okay, let's fix the uh, USB error and uh, there's two commands that we have to type in uh, terminal. So use Control alt t that's default in Ubuntu. And we just, uh, we'll just select this and then say copy, 
go back to the uh, terminal and paste and you type in your password because we're using the super user okay it already exists that's good news now uh, sudo user mod and then two uh, switches uh, small a and capital G vbox users so we'll copy that and then paste and then your user account name should be okay if it's if it's not okay so we'll fire up uh, virtual box again you may have to reboot okay so we'll see what happens after uh, a reboot okay so after uh, restarting the, the uh, Ubuntu the computer and you open up VirtualBox um, I get this warning uh, that's because I have it on another um, hard drive the, the um, image so you can go to check and you just uh, optical disks and just uh, release and say release and then remove remove close so I'll close VirtualBox again go back open it up okay now let's see if our problems fixed go to settings there it's gone no more uh, error message about the USB so the uh, putting in those commands and using the uh, and rebooting the system uh, works so everything else uh, is in place so now we're going to have to uh, power on the computer and just press start uh, the virtual machine I mean and then uh, we'll install uh, the guest add-ons okay uh, booted up pretty quick uh, with uh, Ubuntu 12.10 and maybe 12.04 I can't remember um, virtual box is now integrated into the top menu here so go to devices and go all the way down and install guest additions now that's there it goes and that's uh, running from Windows install uh, just hit next now this is going to come up and say Windows is currently not running in safe mode so directly 3d support cannot be installed so what I do is I say cancel say yes and we'll check computer and make sure it's still mounted which it is and we'll just do a shutdown turn off and a restart uh, and you have to press F8 very quickly <laughs> once Windows logs off as soon as you see the virtual box screen okay so you press uh, F8 as quick as you can and you select the first option safe mode there it goes just answer yes to that and that should be it so we'll go to computer double click uh, let it's the auto run now we can install the direct 3d support and then install it's done so you just hit reboot now so we click finish okay once it restarts uh, you get a display settings message okay so it resized it but uh, you should be able to uh, go to properties um, settings I haven't used XP in a while there it goes all the way up to uh, 1280 by 960 so you can go to 1024 by 768 hit apply and that's a little better and if you press the cont right control on F it should go into full screen but I'm not sure what it'll do to the uh, screencast I'll try it Control F it'll give you a warning again and switch and it's in full screen I don't know if that records the uh, the it's a, the screencaster is recording this or not and then if you want to go back you just pr press control F and it goes back to the uh, resolution you set okay that concludes uh, this part of uh, running uh, 
VirtualBox in Ubuntu and installing Windows XP. And uh, after uh, literally hundreds of downloads, updates, and some tweaking, um, the system's up and running. And it, apparently from the uh, Task Manager Performance Monitor, it's doing pretty good. Uh, so next I'm going to um, go on to uh, uh, some gaming and run some old games inside uh, a virtual box. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.